listen, our business is trying as desperately as they can. I only get mad at tech, apologies to anybody in tech, when I hear them say to us, <laughs> you should make your stuff available for free. And I've heard that. I was sitting Why in, wouldn't movies be available uh, for free? Then? I know. <laughs> I can't really say that. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Tech says to us, we should make oh, your... Tech yeah, says tech, we, I was sitting at, I was at the U.S. Ambassador's home in Ireland at, for a creativity conference day. And I was on a panel and a woman said to me, the problem is your model's all wrong. You should give your product away for free. At which point I thought, well, I could get down and punch her. And that would be an international <laughs> incident. <laughs> or make your point. <laughs> I, yeah. I would have made my point. Or I could answer her, and my answer to her was, it's clear that you've never set foot on a movie or television set or even a music video set, okay? Because all those people that are employed, they're not imaginary. Those credits you see at the end of movies, those are actually real people. And they have to feed their families, you know? There's actually another answer that you could give. Them. Thank you. I need another one. Just, just to supplement, <laughs> to supplement, what you could say is, tech is not providing content for free if you consider the data right. that they are using. I mean, what consumers are doing when they go onto free services, and Karen, you, you feel free to jump in here, you know this as well, if not much better than I. What they're doing is they're not charging dollars, but they're charging in terms of right. data. And then the questions become how that data is being used, how it's being monetized. So it's not as if content isn't being monetized everywhere, right. it's just being monetized in different ways. Yeah. And one of the things that I focus on in particular and that we focus on at the FTC is whether consumers are having appropriate choices when it's being monetized in right. ways that are much less visible to them and still can have good good impacts but also bad impacts and that's something so that's yeah. that's yeah. the answer you should give them okay it's not thank as, you it's not as if people are paying <laughs> they're just paying differently right and, and what's interesting to me is after I answered her and some universal music guy almost choked her in the audience I was like calm down what the, one of the trademark lawyers said to me, why did you even bother answering her question? Why would you dignify her, her statement with a response? And I said, because if we don't begin to talk about the fact that what we do has value, that it's not a hobby, okay, that we are the cultural fabric of the planet, okay, all creative arts, then if we don't begin to say, hello, I'm sorry, your thinking is misguided, it will become common wisdom, right?